over a period of two million years. Another one was cooked meat, right? Yeah. That they figured out a way to yeah. get more nutrients out of meat by that's cooking right. it over fire. Right. So that's a little bit down the road. So here we are mm -hmm. three and a half million years ago. And so for the first time, we put some pressure on ourselves to have an advantage to be smarter. So imagine you're a zebra. You know, what the hell good is it to you to be Einstein? You got right. hooves. What are you going to do with that brain, right? But it's a big, it's a big cost. Our right. brains are 20% of our metabolic energy, whether we're doing math or watching TV. It's, right. it's constant drain. And so what are our ancestors? Why would they pay for that drain? Now, just recently, there was a paper that came out maybe three months ago now on um, a new brain expansion gene they found, or they think that's what it is called, NOTCH2NL. And it turns out, I don't know, 12, 15 million years ago, there was an accidental duplication of that gene on our genome. And it, but it was ineffective and it just sat there doing nothing. Now that's a great way that evolution works where it accidentally doubles a gene because then you, don't, you can mess with it and the old gene's still doing the job, right? Mm -hmm. So it sat there for about nine million years in our line till about three million years ago around Australopithecus and then it duplicated itself and it came online again. And what that gene seems to do is it makes our brain remain as stem cells for longer which means a lot more duplication before they run away and start becoming neurons. Mm. And so if I had to guess, I'd say that that probably, that gene coming online probably happened many times in the past. And every time it happened in the past, it was more cost than it was worth. And so what's the chimp going to do with a little bit more brain and just means more calories and what does he gain from it? But now that we're working together, now that we have collective action, all sorts of things open up. We could we could devise division of labor. I'll say, hey man, you do this and I'll do that. Because Australopithecus, they've got 70 more grams than a chimp. They can't do things like that. But they can't all throw rocks at the same time. That's not rocket science. But all the kinds of things 